hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to talk about map operator and we will see how we can transform a reactive stream using map operator so let's start let's go to our intellij editor so here i will write my first test in this test i will create a flux using range i'll say start with one and i'll say the count up to five and then we will and then we will apply a map operator on it so let's see what is a map operator so for that on mac i'll press f1 so it will give me this uh, marble diagram explaining what this operator do and here it is mentioned that transform the items emitted by the flux by applying a synchronous function of each item so here in the marble diagram you can see that we have a stream of data here these are circles which is passing through a map operation and after applying the map operator the output data is square so here it is mentioned that it is applying a synchronous function to each item that means you can write an imperative code inside this block and you can also return a different object let me show you how you can do that so let's say uh, here we are receiving the data and i'll apply a i'll simply do the square of this data incoming data and i'll just print it so let me just print this and then i'll show you what we can do with that and i'll simply print it so i'll say data okay so if i run this test uh, let me uh, show you what happens so here you can see we have 1 4 9 16 and 25 so basically we are squaring the data so another way of writing this uh, similar code in kotlin is we can use it so instead of writing this entire thing we can simply say it i'll simply remove this with the it here it represents the incoming data so i can remove this so now we i can directly say it multiplied by it it defines the incoming data okay and here also i can do the same thing i can remove this data and i'll say it okay so it's the same thing if i rerun this test it will give the same output so in this test we are simply uh, multiplying the data by itself so here the uh, if i show you the type of this data then it will if i do specify explicit lambda signature then it will show you that it is a n it is of n type so let's say if i change uh, this function uh, say i'll say to string i'll convert this incoming data to string and i'll just append another string saying string form so this number is in string form and here i have to change this if i see the type it should be string now so now you can see that you can uh, use any imperative code inside this block and you can return a different type so now if i let me remove this so it is saying remove this so now if i run this code so if i run this test now you can see that we have all the numbers with the attached string so with this we can conclude that we can use a map operator whenever we need to perform any synchronous operation where we have a deterministic time for the operation so let's write another test uh, i'll say map test 2 uh, here also i'll create one flux with range method and i'll say 1 2 starting with 1 up to 10 and then i'll do a map operation here and i'll i'll again multiply it by itself okay and then i'll what i'll do i'll put a filter here and i'll apply a filter which will say give me only the even numbers and then i'll simply subscribe to it and i'll print it okay so in this i can print so now if i run this test let me show you what we can do so in this way you can apply different functions we call it as a pipeline and this can be complex in real applications so in this way we can use our map operator whenever we need to perform any synchronous operation so with this we come to the end of this video so if you like this video please hit the like button and also share this video with a friend and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update on the latest tech videos thank you for watching